Good morning, everyone. Looking fabulous. Still sick, if you are wondering. I mean, I feel obviously so much better. I have my energy back and all of that. I even uh, cooked breakfast this morning. And by cooking, I mean frozen breakfast. And I just warmed it up in the oven. Um, so I have eye patches on because my skin is extremely dry. Like, extremely dry. So... I've been having my breakfast. I totally forgot to show you guys when it was prettier. Uh, I was like, let me just grab my camera to start off my vlog today because the sun is out. I feel so much better and I'm just in a good mood. Why not start the vlog? So what today um, vlog theme is going to be? Um, it's going to be the beauty treatments at home. Um, I usually do my facials at home. I rarely get a facial outside. The only beauty treatments that I get done out is my nails and every other Wednesday I'm very much used to going and changing the gel color and that's the only thing that I have never done at home but the rest of the beauty treatments are normally minor at home. Um, I mean hair, we're not talking about hair. I don't do hair. I do cut my, my own hair um, but I don't color it. Anya will have a heart attack if I touch my hair color even though it's fading completely um but yeah we're not gonna touch that how i feel about myself and self-care is my number one priority like i'm sure you guys know that by now um so i just want to have a video all about the beauty routines you can get done at home that will make you feel better and you won't feel like just blah um so we're gonna start off by my nails we have to take my gels off like this is a disaster at this point my nails are so grown out and they're looking not their best so, yeah we're gonna do nail treatments hair treatments um facials at home which most of you guys were very excited about and then just general like self-care stuff that you guys can do at home that are beauty inside and out that will help you guys go through this time and feel your best and like not feel just blah we're gonna start off by my nails today uh, because my nails my sister has to do it and she only has time today so we're gonna start with my nails and you guys know how much how important my nails are to me I was debating on if I should get a gel set like the UV light and all of that and do it myself but I don't think that's like ideal. I've never done gel on my own nails and probably it's not going to be the best result and I don't want to get frustrated. So I want to do something fast and easy but effective and pretty. So one of you guys actually over on Instagram and I shared I don't know what to do with my nails suggested getting the Essie uh, gel couture. So that's what I've done. Um, I've ordered it online and it arrived one day. I ordered it with Walmart. They offered next day delivery so it is already here today. But the thing was there were very limited colors available um so um i ordered like a pink one and jesus christ i ordered a pink one and a white one with the base but the white one with the base won't arrive here for this video so probably next video i'll show you that that's for my french i like the french manicure that i've been loving uh so that's that um so we're gonna do a pink color probably because that's the only one that i had they had available i still don't know how long they last and if they're like they feel like gel they don't bend your nails or no i've never done it so the first step is to getting this gel off which my sister will do it for me and then we're gonna apply the gel and obviously we'll experience that together because i'm very much new to this too tomorrow morning i'm gonna do my facial with you guys um after my facial tomorrow we're gonna do the hair treatments and all of that i'll walk you guys through on what i'm doing in a normal timing i would have done a diy hair mask and face mask but i think at this moment it's the best not to because honestly i think at this point you ordering products off of amazon or target and walmart is easier than going to grocery store and getting things from your kitchen to create masks eggs are extremely expensive and they're very rare to find same thing with milk i don't want anyone to waste an egg when you can eat it at this tough times you know what i mean like it's better to just buy the um online ready to go ones in this situation but if it was any other situation yeah the diy face mask and hair mask is a great like amazing idea for the time being i'm gonna continue eating my breakfast 
get this sorted and then i will see you guys after um i'm done eating i'm so sorry if you guys can hear a lot of noises in the background everyone is doing construction around their neighborhood so there's a lot of noises and i have the windows open because the weather is absolutely amazing one thing that i can't stress enough is how important it is to get ready in the morning even if it's the slightest makeup even if it's not even makeup just getting ready and getting out of your sweats is the most important thing for me personally because personally as long as i have sweats on i don't feel my best so even though i'm home today and i'm not gonna do anything specific or i don't even have a photo shoot i'm still gonna get myself together and look a little bit more presentable because personally i feel better when i look at the mirror at someone who has a little bit of makeup on brush their hair you guys get it okay so for the everyday look i love using this by terry cc me serum and this laura mercier tinted moisturizer these two are match made in heaven um do i need to use primer i mean i just love using primer i don't know why i have such a dry skin at this moment that uh, i'm using the uh, lancome primer i have my skin is so dry that it just helps my skin i don't know if you guys saw in my previous uh vlog that i did the organization and all of that i do one pump of each um i need to pump up this one you don't have to use a brush you can do it with your hand but i personally like using a brush it's just faster and easier uh but yeah i don't know if you guys saw in my previous um vlog that i did the beauty and accessories organization it has been working so well i'm so happy that this vanity area is so much cleaner than before a little bit concealer because i just love the brightening effect like i don't have that many things to hide which is a good thing but um, i like to just brighten the under eye a little bit My shelf runs there. You know I want you close. Maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow I know you're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style. Sleeves rolled up, glasses on. And then you make that smile and my heart starts racing when I'm with you. straight already it has a little bit of a bend from hair tie but i'm not gonna do anything to it and i'm not gonna even wear extensions because no need for it honestly this is the complete makeup and hair situation i was not gonna do such a heavy makeup and use a lot of products i was just gonna go for a tinted moisturizer and like a mascara but why not like you know it took me like five extra minutes so that's the makeup and hair i'm gonna go get dressed and put on my jewelry and then i'll speak to you guys for perfume i'm gonna go with this one rose of no man's land from byredo i hope i'm saying that correctly it smells so springy and fresh i'm absolutely obsessed with it i am all dressed on top like jeans but still kept it cozy with my socks obviously like i'm not leaving the house so i've decided to put my hair in a little bun here wearing this very cozy zara sweater my favorite ice link wash please ignore my patchy tan as well and for my jewelry i went with this gold and pearl mix these are my cousin's jewelry 
I'll link it for you guys in the description box below. Since I'm wearing pearl and I love gold jewelry, this is the perfect mix. My sister is taking an online course right now, so she can do my nails yet. But until she's done with her course, I thought I'd talk to you guys about the vitamins that I take because to me, vitamins are essential in self-care. They help you, especially if you are um, nutrition deficient like me, they really help you feel better. If you're taking any supplement for your nails or for your skin and all of that, it's just the best to keep your routine going because sometimes when your routine changes, you forget about your vitamins. But here is your reminder to take your vitamins and I'm gonna share which ones I'm taking right now. I have a detailed blog post on the vitamins that I take. I'll link it for you guys in the description box below and why I take them, but really quickly, I'm gonna go over them with you right now. Um, let's grab them from here. I usually keep my vitamins in the kitchen because where do you go most of the day so i just grabbed all of them and brought here so i can talk to you guys uh, i'm not gonna go into too much detail i have a blog for you guys um that what i'm taking i'll link it for you guys but just so quickly a liquid multivitamin this is a must for me if my camera ever focuses um, this is my third bottle i'm absolutely obsessed with it this doesn't taste bad at all which most of the multivitamins do and the reason that i take liquid is because it's easy on your digestion and um you don't have to have a bariatric surgery to take that i get that from sephora so it's for everyone and they uh, these two hum um, gummies i personally wouldn't recommend taking gummies but I've tried. I've tried so many other ways to take this hair and nail vitamins and most of them are like not pleasant unless they're in a gummies form. Um, these are really tasty, really tasty. Um, so I'm taking the hair sweet one and the glow one, these two. I think this is my like third bottle of this one too. And then a vital protein collagen powder. Like this is a beauty must for me. So this one is actually not the one that i normally get so this is from basically a cow the one that i get is from a fish apparently there's a difference in them i will link it for you guys in the description box below i had no idea they're different because um i used to get this all the time and then when my sister got it it was cheaper than the one that i was getting so i was so confused on why the price difference then we realized this is from grass-fed and raised cow apparently and the ones that i'm getting are from um fish um so that's the difference between them obviously these are not vegan um when i was vegetarian i wasn't able to take them but i take them religiously right now and do you guys see all these baby hairs and the skin plumpness and texture is getting so much better i think all thanks to this and then this is my um, calcium and vitamin D bites. Um, these are specifically for bar bariatric patients, but I think everyone can take them. Um, these are this like little sweets, basically. They taste like caramel. You don't taste the vitamin D in them whatsoever. Not like not even a bit. Those are the vitamins that I'm taking now. I'm gonna just set up the station for my uh nails i'm very excited i'm very excited to see how long it's gonna stay i don't think i have the patience to sit there and wait for them to dry and that's one of the main things why i get a gel polish and the second thing is because i don't have to paint my nails every day i just go every two weeks and it's perfectly fine so yeah i'm gonna go set up the station for my like nails and i will speak to you guys when we're doing my nails so we just set up everything that we think we're gonna need um, a nail file, acetone, this little thing to push the um, gel off again a small nail, nail file, um, foils to wrap my nails and a buffer I don't know what these are called, I think they're called buffer and we put just a towel underneath and these are the two colors that we're gonna use I mean this is a top coat, um, this is the actual color it's called Matter of Fiction and it is the number 139. You know I want you close. Maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow I This is harder than I thought it would be. Um, I mean the gel came off pretty easy. It was 
this thing is not as sharp to like you know go through the edges and like take everything off um, but I was able to file it that's what I did basically I soaked my nails for like 10 minutes in this little things um, and then like filed it which is not good for your nail but I mean it was what it is thank god no broken nails so that's a good thing i never take my cuticles out like ever i don't do manicures i just push them back and that's what i've been doing for years and years and years uh, because the more that you take your cuticles out the more you have to do it so i've learned not to do it it's just because i was doing it at home i cut few places so i'm just gonna cut those so it looks a little bit more clean so I think everything is off I'm gonna buff my nails one more time and then I'm gonna wash it and then we're gonna apply the nail polish they're not as bad as I thought they would be I have a feeling a little bit of a gel is left on them but it's at least it's very smooth so I haven't painted my nails in a very long time so this is not gonna go very smooth probably but I'm gonna do my best I'm gonna do my thumbs at the completely end so I can clean out the edges for both hands and then at the final one I'll do my thumbs just finished up my nails came out good um i just put oil on it i have a little bit of cut in a few places from buffing it like i have few cuts here but it wasn't as bad um the nail polish dried pretty quickly it wasn't as long as like a regular polish but i think for at home polish it came out good and the color is pretty too my nails are super long i wish i could cut them but i don't know how to shape them um the same as it is right now so that's why i'm not gonna cut them but yep this is how they look good morning everyone i'm so sorry for the state of my hair I just got up and I was gonna do my at home facial with you guys but then I remembered I have to take a picture so I have to unfortunately get ready do my makeup and all of that to take the picture and then I can do my facial with you guys but before I'm um, doing my makeup I just remembered a beauty thing that I do at home um, usually once a month which is like, shaving my face I know everyone is scared of shaving their face they think it's gonna grow um, like more and like it's gonna be very manly and all of that but I personally never had that issue I had laser done on my face probably like three years ago the last time so I don't have thick hair but I have a lot of peach fuzz on my face that shows in the picture especially if I'm taking a picture like directly under the sunlight and I find this to be very helpful um, when I want to exfoliate my face um, so this is a great exfoliator makeup sinks in better even the um, skincare products that you put on your face it sinks in your uh, face better so I love shaving my face and this is one that I got from Marshalls for $4.99 um, I've never looked up to see if you can find them online the brand is called Kala <clears throat> And it comes with six it had two purples two green and two pink um, I just opened up a pink one um, they're not one-time use I usually use them for like two to three times but obviously every time I'm using them I'm sanitizing them and then I get rid of them just put all my hair back and all I do is I will go like this all over my face and when I get to my like this area I don't have hair but I just like to go this way on my chin area and that's it um i don't have eyebrows whatsoever barely i would get a hair here and there um so i don't have any like eyebrow treatments that i do at home but i will just plug them if there is any right now i don't think there is any um so i'm not gonna touch them but if you're at home and you have a lot of eyebrows you can get your eyebrows threader or wax or whatever you're doing i would just say which luckily right now bushy eyebrows are very in so don't go near your eyebrow line just around clean up around it like if you see a hair here or here just clean up that don't go near your actual brow line uh, let's just start shaving our face and get rid of all the peach fuzz and all of that Maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow 
now I'm it literally takes one minute to do and it's absolutely effective for your makeup to go on smoothly and for um just your skincare products my face feels so smooth right now you might experience a little bit of redness obviously because you're putting razor on your face and if your face is sensitive just like mine you will experience a little bit of redness but it's gonna go away within like a couple of minutes so now i'm just gonna start doing my makeup and hair and you guys saw me do that 100 million times so i'm not gonna bore you guys with it I'll just quickly get ready and I will see you guys after my photo shoot. So it's been a few hours ever since I saw you guys last. Um, I did my makeup and hair, took my pictures and I'm back to continue this video. Um, but um, I'm getting ready to go into shower to take my makeup off and wash my hair. And I want to show you guys a few of the things that I do that I absolutely love and it makes me feel better. A little beauty thing that help you uh, keep up uh, with your beauty regimen. I usually do this at home. I never get them outside done. But there are just little things that I thought they were worth mentioning. The first thing is uh, dry brushing before getting into shower. I absolutely love dry brushing and personally I love adding an oil underneath and then dry brushing it. I don't like to do it on my actual dry skin even though you absolutely can. Uh, mine is a little bit discolored because I obviously always have a um, self tan on. That's why it's a little bit the color changed. And the oil that I love using, you don't have to use this one, is the Lionel Grail. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, this is absolutely amazing. You can use it on your body and your hair, but you can use any oil, anything that you like, or even a body lotion. I personally like oil because it makes it slide a little bit better and it pushes the oil inside your skin so it's not as rough. That's my personal thing. I have very dry skin, so I rather do it with oil. Uh, but um, I'll link a, a blog post in the description box below that talks about in details of how you need to dry brush and all the benefits of it. But long story short, it exfoliates your skin. It's great for lymphatic drainage. It's good for uh, blood circulation. So getting into the shower there are um, just a few beauty things that i love doing and one of the major things is applying a hair mask um, either an overnight mask or in the shower mask but if you don't have time like today i don't have time to use an overnight mask so i'm gonna do it in shower mask which is this one from alterna i absolutely love this one it's the alterna caviar anti-aging restructuring bond repair mask you basically wet your hair put this on your hair for like three minutes and it nourishes your hair it feels smooth and all of that it smells amazing as well uh, you can just use hair masks for the time being to maintain your hair until you can go get it done another beauty treatment that i'm absolutely obsessed with it and i talk about it all the time either you're fake tan or even if you don't fake tan it's exfoliating your body like you'd have no idea how important this is two of my favorite ones are the wave one and the soap and glory one uh, the wave one is a little bit more gentle compared to the soap and glory one for this one you can use it on your scalp too which i absolutely love because i use a lot of dry shampoo as you guys know and i feel like only the shampoo doesn't get rid of all the built up in my roots so i absolutely love using this to get rid of all the built up on my roots um, so those are essential as well so yeah those are the in shower and before shower beauty treatments that help me keep up with my beauty regimen uh, so I'll hop into the shower cleanse my face in case you're wondering what do I use to remove my makeup I first go in with this um, LMS Pro Collagen Balm and I take all of my makeup off with this then for my cleanser I use the Ola Hendrickson the clean truth foaming cleanser and then for exfoliation of my face i use the tatcha the rice polish classic uh, it's basically a powder it comes out of here it's like this and then you mix it in with the water and you go over all over your face this is extremely gentle and i absolutely love using this so i'm gonna hop into the shower now and i will see you guys after my shower somehow i know you're gonna be the girl that i'll end up calling my own style sleeves rolled up glasses on and then you make that smile when my heart stops. so i just came out of the shower and washed my hair and scrubbed and all of that uh, i'm not applying any fake tan today because honestly it didn't come off completely so i still have a little bit of color left and i don't like to pile it up 
um, so I'm not gonna fake tan today so probably tomorrow when I'm showering I'll exfoliate one more time and then I will apply the fake tan um, but I'm just gonna start on my facial so I'm gonna start by steaming my face you don't have to have a steamer to do this I will link it for you guys in the description box below there's a blog post that I wrote about steaming the face and different ways you can steam your face so having a facial steamer is absolutely not necessary you can steam your face million other ways i washed my face i like took all my makeup off cleansed it and all of that and i didn't apply anything on it uh so i'm just gonna start by steaming my face i usually steam my face um between 10 to 15 minutes not more than that uh, because i have rosacea my face gets really hot and really red and it becomes uncomfortable so i only do it for like 10 to 15 minutes and that's about it so for the first step i'm gonna start um steaming my face while having a little bit of rosé just grab yourself a drink while giving yourself a facial why not and whatever drink you want to do coffee tea and obviously my favorite thing is rosé so i'm just gonna turn on um, my facial steamer my facial steamer started working um so i just wanted to mention the at home a teeth whitening that i absolutely love using these crest 3d white strips um, the vivid white ones are my absolute favorite i know most people get their teeth whitened professionally but you guys know how i absolutely hate going to the dentist even for whitening so i rely a lot on these any kind of teeth whitening that you know you like and like it works for your teeth use it i love these i would highly suggest do this at night before bed so you don't eat anything for like at least few hours um, afterwards but just for the sake of the video I will put it in right now so I already brushed my teeth when I was taking a shower so just um, brush your teeth and then it comes in two stripes like this so that longer one is for your top teeth the shorter one is for your bottom teeth so what you do is very simple you just basically peel it off after I put this on I can't talk to you guys so you know I want you close maybe hold your hand a little while somehow I know you're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling sorry if I'm talking a little bit weird I still have the strips on because I have 10 more minutes to go so I'm gonna leave them on what the next step is for me after steaming my face is going in with some sort of a pore cleansing device I have this Rodenham filled electronic one you don't have to have an electronic one you can use one of these devices but just be very gentle with your skin obviously you don't want to bruise and like cause any kind of damage to your skin uh, i'm not a professional but i watched a lot of youtube videos that had they do it so i learned it from that where i go usually with these two devices is on my pore areas which are my cheeks and my nose mostly and a little bit over here my pores those are my like problem areas that i have larger pores and with steaming it opens up your pores so it's easier for them to come out um what this electronic device does is basically it has a hole here what you do you basically just um, slide this on your skin and it has a really strong uh, vacuum like suctioning um, power so it suctions out every dirt and all of this uh, everything out and I love going on my skin with this once and then going into detail with this because I'm um, extra just like that I'm so sorry this is very annoying to speak like this but um I just didn't want to waste time um, so yeah so what I'll do I'll just go over my problem area with this once and then like basically spot clean with this device this comes with a, a basically loosening like a pore solution so I like to just shake it up and then put a little bit of it on my problem areas as I said, this is not essential, but it helps a lot. You know I want you close. Maybe when you have to take these uh, stripes out, you have to just take them out and go over them with a 
and uh, just your toothbrush just to make sure there's no product stuck in your mouth so it doesn't irritate your gum so i'm just gonna take them out and brush my teeth and i will be right back so now i'm gonna go into a uh, face mask i love using a cleansing face mask after even though i've done the pore cleaning i love a good face mask you guys know it and i'm just i just have my three of my favorite uh pore cleansing ones i want to show you guys glam glow mask you guys know obsessed with these uses all the time um ola henriksen pole cleanser again this one is one of my favorites um if you have blemishes um or you're like acne prone skin this rotten and filled on blemish is absolutely amazing too today i'm gonna go in with this ola henriksen cold punch pore mask because i used this few days ago so i'm just gonna go in with this one and apply all over I don't like to apply masks to dry skin so what I do I turn on my uh, steamer one more time and like steam my face for one minute and as soon as it's completely wet I apply my mask I just have this theory when your face is wet it absorbs everything in better like a sponge so I'm just gonna quickly just turn I just turned on my steamer I'm gonna steam my face for like one minute and then I will apply this mask we ride around in style Sleeves rolled up, glasses on And then you make that smile And my heart starts racing So I applied it all over I'm just gonna wait like 10-15 minutes For it to completely dry Then I will wash it off and I'll be right back I just washed my uh, face It feels so good Oh my god, just steaming your face by itself Like, it feels amazing at this point you can go doing your regular skincare like nighttime skincare um, I wouldn't advise putting on makeup on after all this nourishment like I personally don't think it's like you your pores are too open so I would say just put goodness in it instead of putting makeup on top of it I want to go in with a sheet mask or a hydrating mask it depends on you whatever you want you can use the uh, summer Friday jet lag mask this is extremely hydrating this is my like fourth or fifth bottle I'm absolutely obsessed with this or you can go in with any hydrating mask that you want but we all know I'm a huge sheet mask fan, so I'm gonna go in and apply a sheet mask. Uh, I just brought here a few of my favorite ones to show you guys. Uh, the first one is this Guerlain Super Aqua Mask. This is one of my favorite ones. I usually wear this when I'm going on special occasion. Uh, then this green tea essence one. Um, I get this from Marshalls and Home Good, but I know Walmart sells it too. These are absolutely amazing. You can get like pack of 10 for below $10, which is absolutely amazing. And obviously this 111 skin, I don't know how you pronounce their brand. I think it's 111. This is a road gold brightening facial treatment. This is extremely expensive. You don't have to go ahead and spend your money on it. But if you have a special occasion and you want to treat your skin, I would say use this. This is like magic charlotte turbury has one that is absolutely amazing there's so many brands have really good shit masks but just use whatever you think will work for you i'm gonna go ahead and use a green tea mask for this video um i just love it uh before applying the green tea mask i'm gonna go ahead and apply this summer friday new lip balm i'm absolutely obsessed with this um, you can use it as a mask or as a lip balm, as a shine, whatever you want to use. I just take just a little bit. And apply all over. I know I went overboard, but that's fine. It's extremely hydrating, smells amazing, and tastes amazing too. <laughs> so... You can just apply any kind of lip mask that you want. Um, then I'm gonna get my sheet mask out and then apply it to my face. I just empty out whatever is inside the pocket, just that essence, and I put it all over my neck and this chest area. Just don't let it go to waste and my hands. You can just sit back and relax while your sheet mask is doing its thing. I like to leave my sheet mask on for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour. Just walk around the house like this. Um, one thing I love doing when I have sheet mask on is either go over it with my rose cord and just push the product in or go in on top of it with my 
um there's jamie um too i honestly don't know what this is called but it feels absolutely amazing on the skin i usually love using the sorry this is bothering me i usually love using this with the serum but i mean not, nevertheless with a face mask on when i'm doing a facial it just feels so good helps with the lymphatic drainage it helps with your contour of your face and to me this helps the product to get into your skin better so either this is a little bit expensive you don't have to go ahead and purchase this but just i just wanted to show it to you guys in case you you were interested in doing it uh, i mostly use this at nights when i'm applying my serum before putting in my moisturizer i use this uh, but for today, obviously my rose quartz one. These are both of them are cold. I keep them in my skincare fridge So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this to it. It feels so good I feel like and it helps this product to sink in so much better Just you're pushing the essence of the sheet mask into your skin and never into sunshine I'm just gonna dry my hair and change my clothes while I have the sheet mask on and then I'll be right back while I was waiting for my sheet mask to do its magic I just want to show you guys the tanning products that I'm absolutely obsessed with I know I showed this to you guys hundreds of times but I still get questions on them I obviously love Isle of Paradise product this is the face one that I use if I want to fake tan my face and these are the body ones the clear one is a new one that I started using like I think like two months ago and I've been obsessed ever since for my legs I use this one because I like my legs to be a little bit darker and for anywhere else besides my leg uh, I use this one especially on my hands it's so much more gentler and that's the glow it's so much more natural and obviously for my face i've been using these drops for years and years and years and years and i have a, a highlight in my instagram story i will link it for you guys it's how i apply fake tan to my face uh, so i'll link that for you guys in the description box below in case you're interested just blow dried my hair i put it back so it doesn't uh, get stuck in the shit mask and i wore my favorite favorite pjs ever these sets from um target like i'm absolutely obsessed with it um i will link it for you guys in the description box below it's super comfortable cozy cute soft and all of that so i'm just gonna lay by the tv and wait for this to do its magic it is the end of my facial i just took my sheet mask out i absolutely love doing it at home facial um, so I just wanted to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoy coming to a little like few days of beauty treatment with me These are just little things that can help you keep up with your beauty routine and all of that And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye